the news this week. North Korean twin missiles hit their target. After weeks of negative publicity, Nigeria police put its best foot forward. Nigerian youths accuse older generation of being enemies of progress. And now, it's the other news. And here's your host, OK Bakasi. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another post recession edition of the other news. I want a pocket. All right. Well, the other news is the lighter side of news. I'm sure you already know that. My guest today is Choma Omerua. You know her as Chigal. Also on the show, a very special report from our very own Daniel the Humorous, and lots more. But first, the other news headlines. <clears throat> The National Association of Nigerian Students has called on lecturers to consult students before embarking on strikes in the future. Good idea. I also call on NEPA to consult us customers before they take light. <laughs> the coach of the national, the Nigeria's national football team, Gennad Raw, has said Zambia will be a hard nut to crack, which is why he has called up a new striker to the team. Keep striking, bro. <laughs> well, former police officer and embattled senator Haman Misao says if he wasn't a senator, the police would have planted a gun on him. How? Oh, ex Olokba. Please keep singing, keep singing. Tell us more about the things the police do to frame ordinary citizens like us. Allegedly. <sighs> police. How are you? <laughs> a popular American pastor, T.D. Jakes, has reportedly traced his roots to Igbo land. Hey! Mazi! <laughs> his new king's men have changed his name from T.D. Jakes to Tochukudimba <laughs> Jeku. They have also reserved for him the title of Onune Kuroha One of Ndibo in the diaspora <laughs> and offered him an Mbeke bride to go with his new title if he wants to because we cannot force him. <laughs> the 2019 election season is upon us. How do I know? Because El Rufai is denying again. We are Buharists. We don't have uh, any personal ambition. Atiku is complaining again. <laughs> and of course, President Buhari is just keeping quiet and looking at all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, things got stirred up recently when Minister of Women Affairs Aisha Al Hassan, aka Mama Taraba, was caught on videotape pledging her support to her leader. Yes, Buhari's minister was filmed declaring support for Atiku Abubakar to run for president come 2019. And she doubled down on her remarks when confronted. Aisha Al Hassan's statement drew the anger of Buhari supporters, but she got one young man from the south very excited. Aisha Al Hassan, chikiba, boom, chikiba, no, no, ow, bam, Buhari. Bros, bros, you two like fight too. <laughs> That's Asari Joshua. <laughs> anyway, uh, Aisha Al Hassan, being a daring politician, must have known what was to come. Because soon after her declaration, those presidential rats leaked the details of a report that alleges that the Honorable Minister has been embezzling money. That's an old script, I hope you remember. <laughs> well, Jiri Asha, Lamido Sanusi talk, on a bring report, Sakam from CBN. Senator Musa will talk, on a bring desertion case, on a will. <laughs> but there's another pattern here. Remember when a different Aisha said, she might not support President Buhari in 2019. If it continues like this, me, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be part of any movement again. Yes, that's Aisha Buhari. The president brushed it off and confined her to... She belongs to my kitchen. 
and my living room and the other room. Yes. That was her punishment. So, the president might have lost the support of Aisha at home, the Aisha in the cabinet, but that's not all. It's really not working out. Things are stagnating in Nigeria. For crying out loud. loud. Yes, that's another Aisha. Aisha Yusuf, one of the conveners of the Bring Back Our Girls movement, is no longer happy with the president. Which makes me wonder, does the president have an Aisha problem? <laughs> uh, Mr. President, you need to woo your Aisha's back. Some chocolate and dinner might help. <laughs> but um, think of it, if three prominent Aishas are not happy, is it possible you're losing the support of some other Adakos and Abikes out there? <laughs> you need to put the boo back in Buari. <laughs> Please. Well, uh, if you're watching, use the hashtag bring back the boo in Buhari and tell us how the president can win back his Aishas. <laughs> so hashtag bring back the boo in Buhari. 2019 is coming soon. So we need to help Mr. President. <laughs> From her unique comedic stylings on music albums to her big screen appearances, my guest has been making us laugh for years. Chomo Mera is the star of Banana Island Ghosts. I've seen that movie and it's amazing. But you may know her as Chi Girl, and she joins us now. Please, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the fabulous. Yeah. Yeah, so I sell it market. All right. So um, where did this whole Chi Girl persona thing, where did it start from? How, how and where did it start? Well, Chi Girl is a character that I created because I do a character creation situation in my brain. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's... No, let, let me not personas. I just call them characters. Yeah, so create... characters that you have created in your yeah. head. So Chi Girl I have, is... I heard you have about 10 of them yeah, in your 12. head. 12. of them? 12. 12 characters in your head living. Yes. That's it. Don't you think you need deliverance? No. <laughs> no, because it's just, you know, it's just for tickling of fancy. It's not yeah, for anything serious. You, know, fancy just, tickling you understand? Yeah, no. that's it. Yeah, okay. that's it. All right, so uh, is it who can speak? I, I, I know you You can speak a lot of languages. She almost speaks the languages. Chegol is on Chegol. Oh, uh, Chegol is the Igbo girl. She's on Chegol. Uh, Chegol is the lead. You understand? The lead, yes. She's the one in the front. But Chioma is the one that speaks all these yeah. other languages. Chioma, the other thing. Chegol is, you know, managing her safe. He's the one they pay more money. <laughs> yeah. That's the one that is paying the bills. That's it. Yeah. The chigger. That is it. Um, your rise in the industry has been astronomical. Like, you oh, just, a, you woke I up and poor, you're there, Astro. mega star. I saw Astro. Banana Island Ghost and oh, you were, I mean, no, nobody. That's, yeah. that's it. Correct. You know, so have you suffered sexism in the course of being in this business called showbiz? As in, like, I, I did give me sex. Have you no, no, no. Oh, no. Okay. So far, you, what you say? You know, sexism. As in? Yes. Have you been in any way? You know how, how you know the, you know what I mean now, Chigo? Okay. I think, yeah. As in others. I'm, I'm not saying has anybody begged you for money here and there. Okay. I'm not just on camera. You know, I've been, I've, 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 I've looking for a constation. I've not yet yes. come. So we're just waiting. Have you been discriminating, you know, against no, you based on funny, the fact that you're Funny woman. enough, I, I've gotten so much support from from the men folk and it's been amazing. Like literally, all, I mean, it's all of yeah, you. Yeah, men support so, women. And all of, no, but I mean in this in this career, in this space. Yes. I, I really, because all of you have really been amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of you have been quite amazing. But I, I think it's more, it's more of, because a lot of times you see all these shows and you hardly see women on there. Like you hardly see women on bills. Yeah. You hardly find. Because you're, you're, you're one female comedian that has been very consistent. Well, I try. I, I know that in the comedy business, Unlike the rumors that we hear about Nollywood, we, 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 we don't, no, we, we don't, we do, don't sexual, do those rumors. Yeah. Sexual harassment. Yeah, we don't. We don't. We'll be back. We'll still talk some more with Chica. <laughs> Uh, it's still, 
It's still the other news, and we are having a conversation with the delectable Chigo. Chigo. Sama. Yes. Sama. You've been doing movies. Yes. Apart from comedy. Yeah. Uh, since we don't do it in stand-up comedy, has anybody tried? In no, the I did not. Nobody. <laughs> oh, for the dinners. Face fear. Face. I discourage that. Face Personally, fear. Only yeah. one on one. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, you try it, I untry you. Uh, you tell yourself. <laughs> yeah. There's no need. It's good. it's good to know that you know you can get to you know this level in your career without having to I mean compromise. Yeah. You know it's it's um, what should I say um, is the best and the worst thing a fan has said to you. Let's see. Um, because some fans can really get under your skin. On Being that, on social media, you know, especially these days on, on social that, media. You just under the skin? Yeah. Inside. Inside <laughs> your blood. Inside the nerve. They just find the nerve. Wait. And it, yeah. I got to stare something that and will just, really provoke you. Know, the personal change. They're just sucking down the government. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially yeah. on social media. So what's the worst that That's has happened? Worst. What's the worst that has happened? Um, on social media, I think one of the, I, I tell people all the time, the worst comments I ever got. I had a picture one time. I was in Calabar. And Ebuka and I took a picture mm. together. And this was me after, you know, they've done your face, professional makeup, you know, everything's done, your eyebrows on flex, everything's on flex, lips mm. on flex. Mm. Yeah, you are both your hair is working, you know, everything. Vroom, vroom, vroom. You look at yourself and you said, wow, you look sweat. Then you snap a pix. Then an animal from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Looked at the picture and said, I wrote a comment, I said, Oh, it is finally good to see Fiona from Shrek in person. So working hard and working smart, which one is it? Well, if you if you work smart, you won't have to work hard. That's what I feel. Oh, fantastic! That that's that's a very that's, good that, way to put it. That's what I feel. That's if you I work feel. smart, you won't have you to work. You won't have to work. It's hard. soft work. Mm. Um, software, yeah. All right, um, can she girl, you know, my, lots of my viewers love you. Oh. In fact, you, you enjoy a lot of followership and love uh, within Nigeria and even oh, outside, oh. you know, because of the kind of creativity you bring into stand up yes, comedy. Yeah, try you know, and th th that woman touch, you know, the touch oh, of a woman. Yeah, it's soft something. Yeah. So, in as many languages as possible, I've talked to, talk to some of our viewers. Emma, <laughs> everybody who believes upon me now, a message unto you. Yeah. Stay humble, stay grounded. <laughs> Don't let yourself be too up. Let others up you. <laughs> stay down. Please. Tout le monde ce que je vois, s'il vous plaît, je veux te dire, il faut que vous restez très très honnête, restez poli, restez comment dire. Euh, Life is short. This so, picture so, one will be French, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> I, was thinking, uh, I, I was I was just waiting for maybe Yoruba and Hausa, but you know. My, my Hausa is my Hausa is quite okay. Yoruba is still there. Mm. I can I can fake it to mm. make it. Yeah, yeah, you you can, can. It's just a module like <laughs> yeah. you know, lots of people you know yeah about Chiga. What, what did you study? I studied French education. Oh, French education. Yeah, I taught high school. I taught French in, in the U.S. for four, three years. Oh, you taught French yes. in the U.S. Yes. for how many years? Three years. That's Chiga teaching them in the U.S. Chiga, it's been nice talking to you. Nice talking to you too. We'll do this again some other time. Surely, invite thank you, you please. Very much. I can. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Choma Omerua. Look out for her in the cinemas. Put your hands together one more time. Thank you. Now to other matters. Ifanyi DK, the alleged ritual killer who escaped from police custody in Port Harcourt, was recently rearrested in Plateau State. Ifanyi says he took advantage of a power cut to escape from detention. Up, Nepal! <laughs> well, he managed to make it to Plateau State where he hid from for a few days. But hunger pushed him to come out and look for food. <laughs> Shouts out to hunger! <laughs> Yeah, he was taken to the police station and hid his identity until the police called his auntie. And she told them he was the alleged ritual killer the whole country had been looking for. Thank you, auntie. <laughs> <Got a woman. laughs> well, you see, this story just goes to show how some of Nigeria's biggest problems, electricity, hunger, and village people keep working hand in hand. <laughs> I did not mention the police. You're your own if you add them. 
Now, Nigerians have a way of showing how much we appreciate each other. Here at the other news, we like to collect some examples of this and put it into something we call Nigerians say nice things. We have anticipated. Where was Dino when I was AUJ president? This is this a boy on the street. So you ask him what is antecedent? I will not be as um, in this. I will not be as um, um, very low as he is calling me a rascal and all that. I won't call him names because I'm a proper um, Yoruba man. I ask that the Almighty God, who is the supreme control of the universe, forgive Smart Adeyemi for all the lies <laughs> he's told this night, and he should be aware that those lies are recorded and will be used against him especially in the court of law. Having said that, I want to say that that tape is a product of a satanic collabo between <laughs> Smart Adeyemi, Sahara reporters, and um, others. I don't believe that I'm on the same intellectual or social plane or level as somebody I wrote to me, Amechi. Um, <laughs> If he ever went to school, I don't know which school he went to, I do not see that he has any kind of intellectual substance. Socially, I knew him when he was wearing the same clothes every day for three months in 19, I think 89, when I was national youth leader of the NNC. And I'm glad that he had the opportunity to become governor in this country. Perhaps it's only in Nigeria that a man with his background, the sort of things he did when he was young, the sort of things he did when he was university, could ever become a governor. And by the way, he became a governor without even winning an election. That's a man that talks about credibility. This is a man that claimed that pastors in this country were given six billion naira by the government to vote for PDP. This is a man that went as far as to say that if the PDP, uh, the APC lost an election, that uh, he would form a parallel government. This is a man that incited soldiers to mutiny. This is a man that told the whole world that as far as he was concerned, he was prepared to do anything to become the vice president, presidential candidate of the, AP, of the APC. He betrayed his own people simply because he wanted to become the vice presidential candidate of the APC, and he failed woefully. I would have loved to respond to that, but the person who is speaking lacks credibility, so why would I have to respond to that? <laughs> yeah, have you read all the things Faneka Ode has spoken since he, became, <laughs> since he was in APC? All the things he said about the president, all the things he said about the PDP, now he's joined PDP, and he's saying similar things to the APC. So why do you respond to that? The IG was invited by the Senate to come and explain the reason why there is so much kidnapping between Kadu, Abuja and Kaduna. The IG got scared that he doesn't want to come to the Senate. He called me through Professor Usuji. The IG spoke to me that I should go and tell the Senate president he doesn't want to go, that they will humiliate him. My IG did not call him. Okay. And from the start, his allegation against the IG is that IG is pocketing 10 billion uh, naira on a monthly basis. But when he came here, he said the police. Okay. And I want him to tell us when he was posted as ADC to the minister of FCT, that's Ali Umadibu for the first time, how much bribe did he pay to be posted? When he was posted, when he continued the surgeon to be ADC to uh, the senator Adama Alero, who is in the Senate now, how much bribe did he pay? Okay. And when he was equally posted, when he continued with uh, Senator Bala Muhammad uh, as ADC, how much bribe did he pay? So it's quite unfortunate that people would make a okay. wide I, allegation. I, I and when he that to I, prove I, it, I, I, they could So as okay. it stands, this letter, in addition to this letter, this letter was fraudulently obtained within six working days. They say the Lion King has come, oh! Lion King has come, oh! All of us will go and hide. <laughs> Night the rat, I take the challenge. Who will bury the cat? I can't. <laughs> That's what they ask. Who will bury the cat? Nice warm mouth! <laughs> you don't see that Tom and Jerry before? This one has small mouth like this, oh! Small mouth like this. Smaller. The one way they call in Gambi. <laughs> Everybody knows that our president is an old man. Forget the Abidavid age or the army age. They use President Obasanjo has spoken about this before. He doesn't even know his real age. That show of force or Python dance, that dance should be stopped before it turns to the dance of shame in the market. Be a lady first before being a first lady. In fact, you cannot be a first lady without being a lady. And that's the only advice I have for her. And every Nigerian politician is corrupt. Thank you. Coming up on the other news, our correspondent Daniel the Humorous talks about the economy.
recession is over, according to the Bureau of Statistics. Our economic affairs correspondent, Dan the Humorous, takes us to town to find out how people really feel about this development. Nigeria out of recession after five consecutive quarters of contraction in the nation's economy. July 2016, it was sad, it was solemn, it was sober, deep down in recession. But September 2017, we're catching the vibe and getting the feeling. We're cashing out, we're spending like mad. Recession is over, people. That means that we can get what? A quarter bag of rice, we can get uh, two paint bucket of beans, we can get uh, tomatoes, we can get uh, palm oil and salt, and some turkey and chicken and fruit salad equipment. What that means is with 5,000 Naira Nigeria, you can cook jollof rice for at least... Um, 48 people. Let's go shopping. Good day, sir, Paolo. Now we owe. How much be old layer? The chicken is 1,008. Eh? It's 1,008. You no go give me 1,000. Ah, I got me. For 10 years ago, which kind of 1,000? So, but recession don't come out now. Nah. Recession don't come out. Everything's supposed to be cheap. Now, news, you know, can't say recession don't end. In the fire end, people, they don't get money. Yeah, shop, I, buy, I buy plantain, I buy garri, I buy rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All these things, then come down. Why did it nourish far outside? Some of these commodities is locally made in Nigeria now. Some of them, they are imported. Like this uh, plantain that you are talking about, is ceasing. Uh -huh. So, if it's out of season, you know it will be expensive. So that means there'll be plenty of things come down for this recession. So now now go help us make it fall. With the place they make it fall, but now in the far fall. Ah. So now so person go cook today without meat. I'm buy tomatoes already. Okay, how much? How much for all over? This is one plate at the say one thousand now. Eh? One thousand. The person now, my customer, I buy every bridge for my. Uh -huh. I will just come out 100 naira for you. 100 naira? Yeah, I will come out 100 naira for you. Only? Yeah. Not the only now. 100 this naira for one plastic or 50, 50 naira for 50, 50 naira for 50, one plastic. 50, 50 naira. Hey, now. 950. Hey, now, 950. Ha. So there must be an explanation for this development, and um, I think I'm just going to check the books. Wow. These graphs and charts are not helping me at all. <sighs> I need some air. And in the middle of my confusion came my miracle. Behold, a more intelligent version of a chief business correspondent. Thank you for stopping. Mm. Please, just first, mm. are we out of recession or not? I, I think we are out of recession. But if you are looking for dividends of recession or exit of recession, that one has not happened yet. We are out. But we are out, or no but, we, but there is no exit. So when you're out of the building, you still need to exit the building. The compound. So you're saying we've left the building, but we've not left the compound. So what exactly is the problem? Is it recession or inflation? Inflation is the main problem we have. You know, Nigeria, we've had this very big problem with inflation even before recession came. So inflation is actually the problem? All yeah, because we, we produce so many babies and we don't produce enough food. So how do we fight inflation? Well, you fight inflation by reducing interest rates, by reducing the cost of transportation, by reducing the cost of infrastructure, which is electricity, diesel, petrol, allowing more people who are in enterprises like yourself, and not people like me that speak plenty grammar, to have enough access to loans at a very little level. And only government is the only one taking much of the loan now from the banks, borrowing from the banks at very high cost, which goes around back to the common man. Then, of course, we need the currency to be also better. But we need to be more productive. In, wow. in summary, that's what it is. So inflation is the demon here. Yeah. Inflation is the, is the demon and that we need to Recession is just a familiar spirit. Uh, well, recession is... Uh, it's the enemy that you know, but you just don't want. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. B. Thank you so much. Thank you, so much. Thank you very much. Inflation actually is a demon. Recession is a familiar spirit. For the other news, okay, please tell them my name. Uh, uh, thank you, Dan. They already know who you are and what you can do. Sure, uh, they know. There are many ways to kill a mosquito that is biting your brother on his neck. But using a machete is not one of those methods. 
That is our show today. Thank you for watching and be kind to each other. My name is OK. Love you.